Chicken tastes good, that's my opinion. Chicken tastes good. Chicken tastes good? Yeah, yeah, tastes good. Yeah. There's two types of people, one who makes excuses and one who goes vegan. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm Vegan not... veganism's dumb. I enjoy eating meat. I'm not going to... Are you going to change? Are you going to stop, are you going to stop eating meat? I'd like to. I agree with you. I do agree with you. However, like, I don't know. It's like meat, meat in it. Like, yeah, but meat's a dead body of someone who wanted to live. No, I completely understand you. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's. Well, you, you can choose not to eat meat and, and or animal products. I mean, I can. Get, there, there's a lot of information there. Yeah, yeah, completely. But it's just, it's. It tastes good. You get me? Like, I think if it was the same with humans and that, I think. If it tastes good, it tastes good, you're still going to eat it, but... Oh, well, I'll tell you, the, a lot of things feel good that are evil. Nah, so, I agree, I do like, agree. think of a rapist, they use it, oh, well, it feels good, I get pleasure. Think of nah, nah, okay. someone who gets sick pleasure from abusing a dog. There are people out there like that, people that be cr cruel to cats on the internet. Now, they can say it feels good, and you'll go, well, that's cruel. You can't get pleasure from cruelty, but you guys are getting pleasure from cruelty. Yeah, but I agree with you, but it... we have to eat to live. So I live, I'm seven years vegan bro. Pigs have, pigs have been literally bred to be food. Pigs are made to be food. Doesn't make it ethical though. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're I could breed you to be food. I could breed a bunch of different ewes to be food. Eat human, that's your choice. I could do that, but would that be ethical? Well, you can't eat humans. Yeah, but a pig can't You can eat humans. No, you can't, but it's not ethical. Like It's not ethical to eat dogs. You can breed dogs for consumption as well. Would that be ethical? No, because... Most, most dogs haven't been bred for that. It doesn't, no, it doesn't matter. Um, no, in principle, you can eat... No, it doesn't matter. There's dog farms in North Korea. Yeah, that's There's dog farms in Korea. It doesn't matter. Why is it wrong and why is eating pigs not... Uh, why is eating pigs not wrong and why is eating dogs wrong? I, I, I'd lose myself. Well, in my opinion, it's been sort of... In, the, in our Western society, it's been sort of alienized. I would never eat a dog. That's just not something... You said it's wrong. It's unethical. I agree with you. I agree with you. It's only because of how we've been brought up. If if, if, if 90 years ago they started eating dogs... You're talking about culture. Culture determines morality. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if 100 years ago we started breeding dogs for eat for consumption, and we started, we, we'd still eat them up, like now... You'd do it. It'd be fine. Well, then people would think it's fine. Yeah. What about... So, you know... A lot of people were born into the era in America where there was uh, slavery, okay? Uh, no, no, no. You said what's cultural is ethical, yeah? Uh, because we've been doing it for a hundred... No, no, let me finish but let, but, and I'll let you talk, all right? Because we, that slavery was around in America for 400 years. Slavery's always been around in human civilization, okay? Because it's always happened and because it's cultural, traditional, that makes it ethical in your, in your worldview. No, I'm just That's saying. You said no, 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 no. You said because if we've been breeding dogs for hundreds of years and it was normal, it'd be okay. You're interpreting it wrong. And my opinion is they've bred like we look at it weird because it's not how we've been brought up. But if we were, if all if eating dogs was a worldwide thing, everybody did it, then would people be complaining about it? If if we did, I don't care if people complain about it. I care if it's ethical. Okay. I care if it's moral. If people can, don't, some people don't complain about cows being stabbed in the throat. I want to know if it's ethical. So, so put a bolt in its head and kill it quick. Oh, well, I don't think a bolt in the head is ethical. In, in what world is a bolt in the head ethical? What's what's if that was suffering maybe? But you, you yeah, can't what? just. I want to say you can't just put a bolt in its head. Like it has to grow to a certain size. Yeah, that's what I mean, just grow it and then kill it. Yeah, but I yeah, mean, still, you, you've got a weird idea of what's it's, ethical, it's man. Entire, eh? like, it's entire I want to know why you think growing someone and shooting him in the head is is in any way ethical. But a cow isn't a someone. It is a someone. No, it's not. It's an it's animal. It's, it's just a different. Animal. Well, is a dog a someone? Do they have personality? No. A dog doesn't have a personality. No, it's like a cat does. Yeah. And so does a cow and a pig. Definitely, yeah. I recently rescued a turkey from a farm. On that same level we connected, all right? You can tell they have different personalities and there's someone inside of there. When you pick up a carrot, a plant, there's no one inside of there. No one cares about a carrot. If you do, I, don't, I mean, I'm, I'm going to pull you up there, but... Like, I want to know why you think cows are nothing. They're, they're just objects for you to stab okay, so in the throat and eat. I, I'm not saying we stab him in the throat. They have to be stabbed in the throat after they're, they're bolt gunned. Okay, but after they've been bolt gunned, it's just the nerves working. 
their dad. I don't care. I don't yeah, think shooting people in the head is ethical either. Give me a sec. If carrots were, if carrots grew and had a conscience, right? Would would yeah, but if no, pipe down. If they did, then would you stop eating carrots? If I found out that carrots were sentient beings, then yeah, I'd eat other plants that weren't sentient. No, but if all plants became sentient... Well, they aren't. No, but, okay. well, that's my point. Would well, you if I had to do it to survive, it would be a different story. We wouldn't be talking about ethics because we'd have to survive. You don't have to eat animals to survive. You know they're sentient and conscious, so what are you talking about? Well, if there's not enough plants for us to grow... It's fair, there's plenty of know? plants. We're feeding a bunch of plants to the animals you eat. Yeah, so we have to feed plants to animals and humans. So it's inefficient. So we can eat the plants directly. So, so then what do we give to the animals? Sorry? What do we do with the animals? We stop breeding them into existence for you to eat in bacon sandwiches. So they're going to breed themselves? No, they're not. They're, 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 they're forcibly bred. I just showed, did I show you guys the dairy industry? You showed me that. They're forcibly bred. I'm they're saying. bred on purpose. Yeah, I know. But if you let them all free, and just breed we, they, they won't be free because they're human created animals. Yeah, that's why I'm they saying. They don't exist in the wild. If, if Listen, you've you got you to gotta, you gotta calm down here for a second because you're getting ahead of yourself here. I'm not. I've been studying animal rights for, about, for six up. years. I'm right? not saying this. Well, okay. But, but you're if saying that animals are going to make with each other in the wild or something and overpopulate. Is that is that your argument? Yeah. Because think about how many lambs are uh, castrated. Where do you think chickens and, and turkeys and pigs and cows come from, like the way they are? I just said that we bred them to be like that. Yeah. But do, do, do you agree with like fish and stuff like that? Like, Do you think that's okay? I think fish feel pain and they suffer and there's no reason to drag them out of the ocean and kill them. When I can eat a tofu sandwich. Like, I think you're, you're, you're like, you, 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 are you listening to yourself when you're talking? I am listening But do you feel like you're contradicting yourself and trying to justify something that's horrific? Nah, I'm, I'm completely on your side with this. So we'll come for you before, yeah. before he had sure. a beef. Well, yeah, whose position's more ethical, right? I want to ask you. He's saying shoot them in, grow them and shoot them in the head, which is what we already do. We already do that, what all right? I'm and I'm, I'm saying, like, let's boycott the industry, let's let them phase out, and let's uh, eat plant foods, create burgers out of plants, create, um, use technology to create food out of plants. So what, what do we do with the humans that live in the countryside where, animal, where cows and that? Do they move so that we've got more space for cows? What? You know why I like countryside? I'm lost. Do you want to debate with him? I mean, like, you're countryside and that. Yeah. Like, cows and that are from. Yeah. What do we, what, what, the people that live yeah. So if we let all the cows that exist now free, let them go live in fields and shit. I think you're misinterpreting. They're going to phase out the industry slowly. They're not just going to stop. Everyone's going to go vegan tomorrow and there's going to be all these cows in the countryside. They phase it out. Do you know what phasing out means? Yeah, I'm saying why, why we don't have space. <laughs> do, do you know how many animals are on earth already? And the population's growing, and if you want to continue eating meat and you're saying there's no space, then you've got to stop eating meat just based on that own argument, on your own How argument. How difficult is it to do that, though? Like, I agree, I'm not thinking myself, right? But yeah. I'd, I'd like to I'll become one. Me. Yeah. It's just, uh, I, like, I, I think about the diet being very difficult. Is it, is it difficult? Once you know what to, to do, it's very simple. I mean, I've been vegan in the most bizarre situations, cycling through deserts and eating at uh, gas stations and things like this. And I've always found cereal, soy milk, peanut yeah. butter, beans, you know, like, so here in the UK, amazing vegan options. They've got Veganuary here, which is amazing. And it's really easy. I've got these, uh, these little guides here. Um, oh. I, mean, I, I mean, look, I don't know if you want one. But nah, I want one. Yeah. It seems like, bro, I've what's tried. your name? What's your My name? name's Kimmy. Kimmy. Joey, how old are you? I'm 17. 17, okay. I mean, I feel, I feel like you're, you're trying to make excuses for killing animals, right? Because you don't want to stop. That's what I, I'm being honest with you here. That's what I think you're doing. Yeah. I think you guys here are against animal cruelty and you're trying to find... I'm against... You're trying to analyse whether this is true or not. If, if you're think... against animal cu cruelty, then you wouldn't eat animals. No, I enjoy eating meat. I'm not going to... Are you going to change? Are you going to stop, are you going to stop eating meat? I'd like to. Okay, are you going to stop eating meat? It's just... I, I, I see, like, if I could, I would stop, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm open to the idea of it, yeah. well, you still but... I, I'm like you, I'm open to the idea of it, I would do it, but... I'm open Kimmy, to, Kimmy, you enjoy eating meat, but an animal has to be executed so you can eat their body. Okay. Okay, some people enjoy sex, but they don't go around raping people because they enjoy it, because you, you have to rob someone of their rights in order to eat their body, their right to life, that's what you have to do. Yeah. So do you think that's moral, just because you like the taste of their body? <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, I've been brought up, I've, I've tried being vegan before, like, I, I saw on YouTube something and I, I was vegan. No, I, I, I'm finding it hard to believe, but weeks, for, two weeks, wanna, for two weeks I ate like corn, peanut butter sandwiches, um, jam, like oh, fruit and Sounds shit. like a horrible vegan diet. It, it was. I like corn though. You gotta, corn know what you, you gotta know what to eat, brother. Do you not like corn? 
No, I do. I eat corn all the time, but I eat corn yeah. with vegetables and yeah, noodles. Vegetables and, and, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. We like corn and like fries. Fit. Yeah. But like, I just, it's weird. it'd be weird for me to change. I mean. Well, I think you're more afraid of change than analysing whether or not something's ethical or not. So you're trying to find excuses to keep doing it. I just want you, even if you're going to keep doing it, just admit that it's... No, I, I know that it's wrong, but I can't change that. You can't. Yeah, but I enjoy eating meat. I can't. Yeah, so you're saying you're choosing your pleasure over the animal's life and that, yeah. No, I'm just saying it, it, I personally... In the would. human context, in the human context, you know what they'd call you? What? An uh, evil psychopath. You're choosing your pleasure over the, someone's life and their rights. Not someone, something. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm saying that you've been brought up eating meat, you think it's just normal and that. But in the human context, they'd call you a psychopath. Can I ask something? Do you, do you have a prediction about, like, when, like, in an ideal world, if everyone was vegan, do you have a prediction for when that would happen? Well, I don't know if Is more people, possible? if less people make excuses like Kimmy, hopefully sooner. But if more people like you guys uh, uh, join in and get on the side of the animals, and maybe, maybe sooner. But we need laws as well as as people making changes. Yeah. So we need um, the supply and demand chain, chain to change, and we need laws from above to change as well. Uh, isn't there a lot of food that's wasted as well? Just like like yeah. like animals yeah, that are waste. I completely disagree okay. with waste. I only make enough okay. food for then myself. Why would you waste all of this plant food to feed to an animal over the course of their life? All of that water, all of that land just so you can eat a little bit of their flesh. Do you know how inefficient that is? Yes. Yeah. Most of the soy, like half of the soy in the Amazon has been fed to chickens over here. Okay. You know, I just, I'm just saying, I understand that it's not right, but I'm, I've grown up eating meat. Do you know what I mean? So like, like, I ate meat longer than you've been alive. Okay. 26 years I ate meat for, dude. So then I'll, I'll eat meat for 26 years and then I'll change. No, well, I'll, I changed when I realised, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll realise in, in, in no, but that's five him, years. That's him, not you. You're yeah, I'll change person. in five, six years. No, how, do mean, you know, how do you know that? <laughs> I will. So you're, so you're choosing to be an animal abuser through your lifestyle for the next five or six... Animal. Yes, you are. You're paying for them to be abused. If I pay someone to abuse you, I'm, I'm, the, I'm an abuser as well. I think we're all massive pussies. I think we'd eat the food, but we <laughs> wouldn't, we that, wouldn't do it. Do you know what I mean? We wouldn't that. actually abuse the animals. So like if that. I had a pig here, or the turkey I rescued the other day, from um, a farm, you'd, you'd you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, wouldn't would you cut, them, cut their head off and eat them? Not myself, no. Okay, so you're a hypocrite. If I was starving. If I was in the wild, Kimmy, I'm Kimmy, you're a hypocrite. Just a bit. I, I admitted I was a hypocrite before I changed. Nah, it's just like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change now. I, I'm just saying. Like, before I'm I changed, I admitted I was a hypocrite. I did it on my Facebook in 2012. I just need to change my diet and stuff because I'm really unhealthy right now. But I'll go to the butchers. I'll get some meat. Do you know what I mean? Okay. When you eat eggs and stuff, it's always free range. I wouldn't Doesn't eat matter. Bat battery eggs. Disgust me. So the free range egg industry macerate yeah. the male chicks and they slaughter all the hens. So if you go to, where is it? Eggs, okay. So after they come out, uh, these eggs become incubated, they hatch and then they separate them into male and female. The males won't be used by the industry. This is free range and organic do this as well. So what they do with the males is they destroy them on their first day of life. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Oh, no. They do this in the UK, across the world. What do they do with the meat then? Uh, it goes to pet food or something like this. Fertiliser, I don't Do you think it's wrong for dogs to eat meat then? Well, we can talk about dogs, but I want to talk about you. Yeah, okay, so if I stop eating meat... I think it's completely wrong for you to do it. Okay, but what yeah. do we do with the dogs? Do you, have a, do you have a pet dog at home? I've got a pet dog, Coco. Okay, Coco. Okay. Okay. So they slaughter all the, the, the egg-laying hens as well. So, so I just want you to know, know that. Asking, what should we do with... Okay. What do we feed dogs and stuff? Because my dogs... Are a big, um, Mainly meat diet. Yeah, yeah. So I've got, I'm having a bit of a hard time trying to turn you vegan. So I want to focus on you. I don't now, want to turn now, vegan. I'm asking you. This, this yeah, is my yeah, question. Okay. What What yeah. do we do? How do we feed them? Because dogs have I've been bred to that. That's their diet. Oh, yeah, okay. Same with ferrets. I know, ferrets I know what can't have been bred for. Ferrets. Yeah. They're exactly. domesticated animals. Ferrets. Same with. They can't. They can't eat. They have yeah. to eat raw meat. Yeah. So what do we do with ferrets? Okay. Do you have a ferret? My girlfriend has a ferret. Your girlfriend has a ferret. Okay, so first of all, you know what's wrong for you to eat animals and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What, what do we, we get that off the table then. You're off the table. Right. So you're a vegan now, let's just say in this hypothetical world. You've gone vegan, you've realised the error of your ways. Your dog's not vegan. Yeah. And you're worried because... I turn my dog vegan? You're really concerned because you don't want animals to be slaughtered for your dog, yeah? Yeah. That's the scenario. You're concerned because you, you're, you don't want animals to have their rights robbed in a slaughterhouse to feed your one animal, yeah? Yeah. And you wouldn't accept dogs being slaughtered in a slaughterhouse to feed your dog, would you? No. So what do we feed okay. the dog? Okay, so you wouldn't accept that, would you? So what do we feed the dogs? 
I just wanted to get an answer. You wouldn't accept dogs being slaughtered to feed your dog, would you? No. So, okay. so why would you? Dog? So why would you accept pigs, cows? We'll get there. Pigs, cows, chickens, turkeys, and fish to be uh, fed to your dog. Why would you accept that? If you wouldn't accept dogs being fed to your dog. If, I'm, if I go vegan, then yeah. I wouldn't. But what do I feed and my what dog you then? Do is you get specially formulated vegan pet food. Okay. Okay, and dogs can be healthy. The what fourth. One sec. One sec. Okay. It's, it's almost like you're trying to make excuses and you're not listening to what I'm, I'm saying to respond to you. I've just not got a lot of time and all the answers. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Why wouldn't you kill ferrets to feed to your ferret if they need meat? Because they can't eat ferret. How do you know? It's but meat. They can't, they're not. They're not. Okay, would you kill a dog to feed to your ferret? No. They need meat. Why not? They can only eat, I'll tell you exactly what they can Why eat. Why can't they eat they dog? They can't eat pork. They can't eat pork. They can't eat um, fish. Can they eat cats? No. How do you know? It's not part of the diet. They can eat beef and chicken. So cows are part, I just want to get this straight. Cows are part of a ferret's diet. Ferret can eat beef. How do, how do ferrets kill cows in the wild? No, but they've been bred, so they eat that. No, if, no. if you're wild so, ferret, so, wild ferrets will eat chicken, eggs, okay. stuff. So I don't believe you there. I don't know. C cows are not part of a ferret's diet in the wild. Yeah, but domesticated ferrets can eat beef and chicken okay. and eggs. That doesn't mean that they'll die if they don't get those things. Okay. I'll let you go, Kimmy. I appreciate the conversation. Um, I'm glad that you've realised that the error of your ways and you're going to be yeah. vegan next time, a vegan activist. Right. <laughs> See you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got ferrets, uh, we got stuck on ferrets, but uh, you know, he gave me a good run for my money. But yeah. You know, first you have to, you have to talk to about the person first, and if they try to throw it onto their cats or dog, you wanna, you wanna analyze whether or not they realize that slaughtering animals is wrong for them. And uh, this is supposed to be a table debate, but um, for some reason we ended up standing up and talking to like six people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Kimmy, look, to be honest with you, I don't think Kimmy lies to himself. I think he's probably a good kid in other ways, but the other kids there, uh, they were um, a lot more on the ball with it. They took the information, you know, I've got a lot more hope in the other two than I do with Kimmy, but maybe Kimmy will snap out of it sooner or later, you know. He's only 17. When I was 17, I was using drugs and in gangs and eating meat and didn't care about what anyone said. So like, you know, yeah. Hopefully they uh, do the right thing and uh, yeah. We'll talk about ferret veganism another day, I think. <laughs> Where would you stand in the days of slavery? Would you be on the side of the slave owners? Yeah, against it, obviously, obviously. Well, well, wait a second, just ask where you are now with animal rights. Uh, 